not judging. I don't come to tell you, hey, you're wrong. Jesus was not the Messiah. It's not my job. I'm not here to do that. That's not my intention. I'm not here to uproot you from your faith. I just, there are so many nonsense that are being spoken against the Jewish people, against the, the souls of Israel, that it's a shame. You lose your connection to the Torah by cutting yourself away from us. Because, first of all, something to clarify, we're also human. We're people. The fact that certain Jewish people made certain mistakes, it doesn't mean that now all the Jewish people are like this, all the Jewish people are like that. You cannot say that because that oh, you mistreated this right, you dis mis mistreated that right, you did something wrong, you were wrong in this, you were wrong in that. Like, wake up, you're talking about people. The Jewish people are an amazing group of people that were chased for their religion for thousands of years, been executed, killed, tortured, burnt, alive, for their religion and against all odds and all chances and all kinds of logic kept their religion with so much power and dedication and were willing and, and, and ready to sacrifice themselves just to keep on being so bonded and, and attached to the Torah and to the truth that you cannot come and judge a huge public and saying you were not teaching the Torah to the nations you were not uh, revealing the light to the nations where the nations themselves were prosecuting and killing us for no reason now if you're going to say that heaven's court decided to judge us and to bring us to that kind of suffering and that we deserve those kinds of punishments I will not argue with you on that there is no doubt that everything that happens in this world is happens, happening by the decision of the Creator from heavens but I will tell you when the Creator puts his punishments and judgments on someone, it's only because of the reason that he still has hope from him to be educated. Like many verses are saying that the Creator is telling us, I'm going to make you pay for your crimes because I love you. Because he wants us to accept the rebuke and to be educated and learn from our mistakes. This is the approach of a parent that still has hope from his child. A parent that gave up on his child, he just let him go, let him be. He gives him the freedom to take decisions on his own, and he's not rebuking him. But Hashem said, Et asher yohav Hashem yuchiach. The Creator, He rebukes the one He loves, because He still has hope from us. He sees in our eyes, in our hearts, that we are willing to, to fix, to take responsibility. To take full responsibility on our actions and to admit our mistakes and to correct them as much as we can.